Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm just going to read a little short part of this and put the link in the description box. Some of you might be very interested in hearing the rest. I've just got a lot of email to try to catch up on, so I'm going to do just short little blurbs. And if you're interested, you'll click on the link. If you can't ever find the link, just let me know. I'll put, I'll put it under your comment or the top comment or whatever. I'll get it to you. All right, this is from Brighteon. Um, I I get I get the news now from it's from either Brighteon or uh, oh, what's the other one? Is it on here? I usually get both. In one day, they're called, anyway, it doesn't matter. Natural news, maybe? Anyway, this is titled, Farmageddon Microchip Supply Supply Line Collapse Hits Tractors and Farm Equipment. My, my. We have all the recalls, and then... Last year, we had Buku's uh, acres turned under because men couldn't stand close to each other to farm it. You know, they couldn't figure out that every so many rows, these men start. And after they get 10 feet down the row, they blow a whistle, and these men start. And then when they get 10 feet down the row... The next row starts, and they stay 10 feet apart, not 6, 10. They couldn't figure that out. You know, I'm not, I'm not the brightest cookie in the jar, but I figured that out. Anyway, they said they just turned over all those vegetables because they couldn't be farmed, or those men might give each other covid Moving on. Microchip supply line collapse hits tractors and farm equipment. Just in case you didn't realize the, the food supply problem could get any worse, major tractor agriculture manufacturers are now unable to deliver new equipment to retailers because of the shortage of microchips. My, my. Much like modern cars and trucks, today's tractors, combines, and other agricultural equipment use microchips and software to control everything from fuel efficiency to emissions. Because of the global microchip shortage, these agricultural equipment manufacturers are having to sideline their own production, much like Ford is doing with trucks. This means food supply shortages are going to get even worse and food prices are going to continue to skyrocket. I also expect food riots to begin this year in America. Hear my Farmageddon podcast here. Okay, so that's on my email. So I don't have a link to it, but I'm going to click on, I'll put that in the description box, okay? I'm going to click on this link, and it's like a, um, it's a picture that says HRR, Situation update, May 9th. I'll use this picture for the custom thumbprint. Thumbprint, thumbnail, whatever. So you can see what I see. And then you'll see probably, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a, it, you'll hear his podcast, okay? 
So I don't think it's like a video. Just hear it. You're just going to hear the Health Ranger Report. That's what he calls it. Health Ranger Report. H-R-R. -R. Okay. And this situation update. May 19th, 2021. Farmageddon. Microchip supply line collapse. Hits tractors and farm equipment. So with that, I'm going to end it and say y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. And I will be back to talk to you later.